Okay, this is my Care East or Car East or Car East steam engine. I don't know how it's pronounced. Now, this one is quite a rarity. I can't find many references to it on the internet. Um, I've even got the part of the box which is um, in tatty condition, but it does say a Care East product, Dulux model steam engine. Um, so I'm going to keep that. Now, this machine, I've had to do a bit of work on to get it to go. It's in good condition. Um, it was found in a loft. Um, I believe it's about 1946. I'm very interested if anyone can throw any light on this. Now, when I got it, this is going to probably um, upset a lot of steam enthusiasts. Along here, there were no holes whatsoever. Um, the two pr uh, pictures I found on the internet, they had these holes. Now, I thought that's interesting. Mine hasn't got the top breather holes. And then I found out why. Because when you inserted the burner, all three of these would go out within about two minutes because the oxygen inside here was not sufficient and it was putting the flame out. So I tried a number of times to um, get it so that it wouldn't go out and I could not uh, get the machine to work whatsoever. So the only way around it was to drill three holes this side and three holes the other side. Uh, now it works perfectly. So when I first got this machine, there were no holes across here, but it, it, it couldn't have been um, used much because it wouldn't work like that. Anyway, I'll show you how it works. It's got two flywheels. I'll spin it in a minute. I've already preheated it so that it shouldn't take very long. See, now it will start up fairly easy, as I say, because of the holes that I've drilled. Um, right, here we go now, she's starting to boil, it's got a lovely chimney here, single piston, double flywheels, a little on off valve, blow out preventer here, which works on a spring with a little ball bearing, it's rather clever. Right, I can hear it boiling, I'm now going to try the flywheel, let's give it a couple of seconds, just so it can get some heat. When I first got it also, these four corners were bent upwards where someone had attempted in the past to, to let the gases escape. So I just gently bent these corners back down. That's why there's paint loss on each corner. It's the same on the other side. As soon as I bent them down, the machine would not run. Hence, I had to drill the holes. Um, I, I, I might have made a mistake doing that. I don't know, but I'll be interested to uh, hear your comments. The machine just would not run. Here we go, let's see if... There we go. It's a, it's a beautiful machine. It's very well built and it's very heavy. It just takes a bit of time just to start her up because it's a big old boiler. There we go. I'll just let it heat up for a bit longer. Um, as you can see, I've got the valve open. Um, come on. Let's give it a bit of time. I'll just check that we're all alight still. Yes, we are. I'm using methylated spirits in the burner. There we go. There we go. A little bit of WD-40. Got to be careful when you spray it with WD-40 because it does tend to all catch fire. Um, it's now running at a fairly slow pace. What I'll do is I'll spin it in a second so you can see the different angles. It runs quite smoothly. Right, here we go. There we go. Details of the crank. Three are light still. 
I put the little washer on the burner to stop the mess from spilling out. It just gives it a better seal. It's very well made. It's very heavy. And like I say, if you look in the corner here, these were bent upwards. I bent them back down again. It's starting to speed up now. Let's give it a little bit of oil. Two little oil holes. One there. One there. It's got a fantastic funnel. There's the other side. And as you can see, these are the holes that I drilled in it. Fantastic little engine. We can speed it up or slow it down using this. See that stops it. And that starts it again. If I undo this it might go a bit quicker. Let's speed it up a bit. Lovely engine. Bowl's a bit crooked. As again, I haven't repainted it. I never ever repaint my engines. And the only cleaning is a bit of WD-40 and a rag. Uh, no other cleaning whatsoever. Uh, never use Brasso on the boiler or the brass. Because all you do is take all the age out of it. I just... it. I, it went against the grain to put these holes in, but what can I do? At the end of the day, I wanted to use it, and it wasn't going to run without these holes. And now it runs beautiful. It's quite a low tick over. Um, shortly, I'm going to get. I've got some more engines in my loft. They're a lot older than this, and they all work. Loads of smoke, loads of steam, and, and loads of fun. Um, I'm going to show you those ones as well. I'd be very interested to know if anybody can throw any light on where this was made. I know it was British. I'll show you the box again. It's a great little engine.